An embryonic stem cell can not only self-renew, like all other stem cells, but its special capacity is to make all different kinds of cells. Indeed, it can make blood, it can make nerve, it can make the whole pancreatic islet, the part of the pancreas that makes the hormone insulin. So if one thinks about the significance of that, that means the discovery in the last couple of decades of stem cells has provided us with a reagent, a tool, that can make any tissue in the body. It can make all of the skin, brain, and nerve, what's called the ectoderm of a body, the outside of our body. It can make all of the tissues on the inside, the mesoderm, which includes blood, heart, kidney, muscle, and bone. And it can make the gut tube, the endoderm, the lung, the liver, the stomach, the pancreas, the intestine. So to emphasize this, I want to show you a movie, something we do with students in the lab, where we take human embryonic stem cells that are growing in a dish and turn them into beating heart cells. Here we have human embryonic stem cells growing in a petri dish as colonies. If we remove the conditions that allow them to self-renew, they will begin to automatically specialize. And you can see here it's demonstrated or indicated by red, yellow, blue, and purple cells. But I want to highlight one particular kind of cell that can form here, which is human heart cells. So the movie shows these cells beating. They're a little tiny clump of cells beating just like a heart. Here are four different examples of it. It might remind you of Edgar Allan Poe's story, The Telltale Heart, where he couldn't stop the heart from beating under the floorboards. Here, once we take these human ES cells, as we call them, in a dish making heart cells, they'll beat forever and ever. Now, the trouble here is that we're not making a heart. I want to emphasize that we're making a tiny little clump of cells. And so biologists have been thinking about how could we use those beating human heart cells to actually make a real heart. Well, this picture shows a way we might go about doing that. In this case, we're taking a rodent, a rat heart, and removing all of the cells, leaving a kind of ghost. You see uh, here the white ghost on the right, which is a decellularized rat heart. So it just has the matrix, the kind of scaffolding for a heart, but there aren't any beating cells there, and it's dead tissue. We can seed that, that uh, scaffold with human or mouse embryonic stem cells that have been turned into heart progenitors. And they will go on then to form a beating heart. Here you see this heart pumping away, which has heart cells that are made from embryonic stem cells. That's the sort of beginning of a field called bioengineering, where we're thinking about how we would make organs and then eventually, of course, transplant them into people.